Joe Biden won the 2020 election, every legitimate investigation into that election by both Democrats and Republicans has proven time and time again that Joe Biden won fairly, and it was a secure election. With that being said, we have the 2000 Mules video being released soon on the uncancelable platforms. They will be available uh, in platforms that can't be taken down at noon Eastern. Now, cannot be taken down is interesting considering... Sounds like it might be taken down. But hey, let's say it's not taken down. I can get more information at 2000mules.com. So I went there and they're selling tickets for $20 to a Q&A with these names. And they're also going to have a $500 tier. And it's coming out eight hours after the release. Not really sure why, but whatever. And you might be wondering, well, who is pushing this documentary? Of course, Trump is pushing it. It was on his little rally. But there's another person pushing it. Or should I say country? It's not Russia. Belarus. You know, the one that's doing Russia's bidding when it goes to Ukraine. Yeah, apparently their state-funded news has decided to cover this misinformation and just spread it. And this is a uh, half a million subscribers, 75,000 views already. This channel doesn't report news in English. Look at all the look at all the comments. Suddenly they're all English, almost like, you know, it was a targeted misinformation push. But beyond that, well, who's creating the documentary? You know, it's just uh, a guy that Donald Trump personally pardoned after he became a felon for violating campaign finance laws. Now you can't blame all of the advertising on places like the Belarusian government. We also have OAN and other things like that, just, you know, spreading the misinformation. RSBN, at least, is smart enough to quote people. You'll notice there's a big difference. RSBN is afraid of getting in trouble, so they use quotes. While this one, they have the quote being that they believe it. Yeah. And this, you might go, who would be posting fact checks? Of 2000 mules the guy who created it and that's what i want to talk about real quick because i found this bit funny on top of the interesting with the belarusian government you see the people spreading the fact checks right now before it's even out are supporters who watch the film people that went to theaters to watch this film they are flooding the internet listing off the fact checks and then basically going i don't believe it so like here hey Here's some simple facts. You go up. He just simply doesn't believe it. There'll be people like, well, they're wearing gloves, and that's supposed to be a tell for some people, to be a proof. They're like, well, it's during COVID, you know, during a pandemic. Of course they're wearing gloves. And the comments on Twitter will be like, no one wore gloves in November. People handling, you know, recently touched documents did. Or they're wearing masks. Who wore masks in 2020? A lot of people wore masks in 2020. But, essentially, the video is coming out, I guess, at noon. If it's not out at noon, I guess at 8. I don't know. I'm very interested to see how quickly the re-uploads get taken down. I'm curious to find out if it's YouTube taking them down, or it's the guy who created it taking it down, trying to, like, conglomerate the views where he can make money. I'm also going to be interested if this Belarusian news organization is continued to allow to post misinformation like this, or when YouTube inevitably cracks down on 2,000 mules, will the Belarusian government-funded news channel on YouTube get taken down for the misinformation it spreads?